in terms of the pace of that first half, did you consciously know they had a big comeback in the back to back? Were you just trying to, trying to maybe get them tired or try to get them to the pace or was that a conscious effort as a team? Um, no, I mean, I think that's just how we want to play, really. Um, we want to play fast. We want to, that's our advantage. We got a lot of young guys who can run the floor, can shoot, can get to the rim. So I think our, our, that's where we had our advantage at. How important for you to be in that moment, on that stage, of play off atmosphere and play the way you did? Uh, I think it's big. I mean, I, th- I definitely think it's big for myself for confidence-wise and then just knowing that I, I can help my team out and uh, we came out with the W. Uh, it was real big. And then for the team, uh, that's another step that we had going in the right direction going into the playoffs. So. This is a great example of how the playoffs can be where you get up 30, but here comes LeBron and the Cavs right back. Definitely, up. for sure. I mean, he's a great player. They're a great team. Um, it just shows that... I mean, you can never let up. You got to keep going each game, and we pulled it out. So, what do you think about the fact that you did this tonight? You scored 78 first without Joel, and, and, and do it with the guys already chipping in. Is this even more impressive because of that aspect? Of it? Um, I, I mean, I think so. I think uh, uh, we believe in each other. Uh, we all know what each other can do, and uh, we just showcased it tonight. Uh, we all knew this in the beginning of the season that we have a lot of talented guys, and we can all play together. So, we just had to go out there and show it. To play this way without having Joel, Ben just said you guys can be scared. Yeah, for sure. Joel, it, it's very scary just to know that we're doing this without Joe, and then with him coming back, that it just gives us a post presence, and then he's dominant on both ends of the floor, defensively and offensively. So uh, I look forward for having him back out there. Markel, can you just talk about uh, the, the battle between Ben and LeBron and just really how great both players really are? Oh, man, it's insane. I mean, they're both very, very talented players. Um, Ben is a unique player. For him to go out there and get a triple double, almost having the first half, and LeBron to do what he did. I mean, everybody knows what LeBron can do, but it's insane. This is to witness that as a player myself, just growing up watching LeBron and then seeing Ben just go out there and do that. I mean, it just shows how talented he is. Well, it was a night, a night that really kind of showed you how important your role can be to keep that pace up, keep that uh, the, uh, the movement of the game going. I think so. I think uh, that's one of my goals. Uh, one of the things I look forward to coming in the game. Uh, when Ben comes out, just keep that lead and try to push it um, and do whatever I have to do to help the team win. So, Get a taste of, of what the playoffs are going to be like here. Yeah, for sure. It's going it's to be insane. The fans did a great job of just being out there supporting us, uh, getting on the refs. I mean, everything. I mean, we love this city a lot. So. Um, yeah, we have a chance. I think so. So.